Now we are going to solve this problem. Here, six, square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 5. We have to find out the possible values for x. So here, you take this uh, square root of 9 minus x squared this side and take this term to the right hand side. So when you're taking plus square root of this to other side, it becomes minus square root of 16 minus x squared. So here, after that, what we have to do is uh, squaring on both sides to eliminate this square root. So when you're squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides, we have square root of 9 minus x squared, the whole squared is equal to 5 minus square root of 16 minus x squared, the whole squared. Uh, this square root and this square get cancelled. So you have 9 minus x squared is equal to here a minus b the whole square. This is the form. So a squared minus 2 times a times b. A here is 5 and b here is square root of 16 minus x squared plus b squared. 60 square root of 16 minus x squared the whole square. Or you have 9 minus x squared is equal to 25. 5 squared is 25 minus 10 times square root of 16 minus x squared plus here this square root and this square get cancelled. So you have a 16 minus x squared. And here you have minus x squared. And here also you have left hand side minus x squared, right hand side minus x squared. Both the terms get cancelled and you take all the constants to one side. So 9, when you're taking plus 25 to left hand side, it becomes minus 25. And in the same way, plus 16 to this side, it becomes minus 16 is equal to minus 10 times square root of 16 minus x squared. Or you have 9, this year you have a 25, uh, are you... 25 minus 9, it becomes minus 16. So, minus 32 is equal to minus 10 times square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay, so we have minus 32 is equal to this term. Or you have, you take this minus 10 to this side. So, minus 32, minus 32 divided by minus 10 is equal to Square root of 16 minus x squared. Square root of 16 minus x squared. This minus and this minus get cancelled. And here you have uh, uh, 5 times 2 is 10. And 16 times 2 is 32. Okay. So we have 16 divided by 5 is equal to square root of 16 minus x squared. Again you have to eliminate this square root. So we have to squaring on both sides. 16 by 5 the whole square is equal to square root of 16 minus x squared the whole square. Or we have 16, 16 squared divided by 5 squared is equal to this square root and this term get cancelled. So you have a 16 minus x squared. Or 16 squared is 256 divided by 25 and take this uh, minus, uh, sorry, 16 to this side. So minus 16 is equal to minus x squared. Okay. Or we have uh, x squared is equal to here we have uh, 256 minus 16 times 25 divided by 25 is equal to minus x squared. Okay, minus x squared we have and 16 times here we have a 16 times uh, 25 is 400. So 256 minus 400 divided by 25 is equal to minus x squared are 256 minus, sorry, 400, the 256 minus 400 is minus of 144, isn't it? 144 divided by 25 is equal to minus x squared 
or this minus minus get cancelled. So x square to 144 divided by 25 or x is equal to plus or minus square root of 144 divided by 25 or you have x is equal to plus or minus this is your uh, 12 isn't it this can be written as square root of 144 divided by plus or minus square root of 144 by square root of 25 12 divided by 5 12 uh, 12 12s are 144 and uh, square root of 25 is 5 so we have the value of x is equal to uh, plus or minus plus or minus 12 divided by 5 or you can say that x is equal to 12 divided by 5 and x is equal to minus 12 divided by 5. You, so we have to check this result with our given problem. So we have to check this answer. Our problem is square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 5. So we have to substitute. First we take x is equal to 12 by 5. So 16 minus uh, 12 by 5 the whole squared plus square root of 9 minus 12 by 5 the whole squared is equal to 5. Or we have square root of 16 minus 144 divided by 25 plus square root of 9 minus 144 divided by 25 is equal to 5. Or otherwise square root of 16 times 25 minus 144 divided by 25 plus square root of 9 times 25 minus 144 divided by 25 is equal to 5. Or you have this term, you know that 400 minus 144 divided by 25 plus this term is 225 minus 144 that is 9 times 25 is 225 minus 144 divided by 25 is equal to 5 or otherwise 400 minus 144 is 256 isn't it so 256 divided by 25 Okay, 256 divided by 25 plus here this term is uh, 225, 144. We have a 1 and here you have a 12, 8, 81 divided by 25 is equal to 5. Or you can say that 16 by 5 plus 9 by 5 is equal to 5. Or 9 plus 16 is here basis that is the den same denominator you have so you can directly add it 9 plus 6 9 16 plus 9 which is 25 is equal to 5 or 5 is equal to 5 so x is equal to 12 by 5 is one root again we have to check for the another root x is equal to minus 12 by 5 square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 5. So here you are taking x is equal to minus 12 by 5. So 16 minus of minus 12 by 5 the whole squared plus square root of 9 minus minus 12 by 5 the whole squared is equal to 5. Because of this squaring this term becomes positive 12 by 5 the whole squared plus square root of 9 minus 12 by 5 the whole squared is equal so here after that like your previous simplifications you get the same steps because this minus because of this is square and this minus become this negative becomes positive so same value like this you get so 5 is equal to 5 you can say that so 5 is equal to 5 so from that we can conclude that 
x is equal to 12 by 5 and x is equal to minus 12 over 5 are the two possible solutions for this problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.